Welcome everyone, Johnny Keck over at AMP Futures and thank you for tuning in. Uh, we're going to get started with a video series in terms of helping you learn how to use Market Delta Cloud, which is a web-based trading platform that's available at AMP Futures at no monthly cost and is free. Uh, if you have not already gone to our YouTube channel to watch the Getting Started video in terms of how to log into the platform, uh, be sure to do that. Uh, we're going to already get right into it in terms of showing you the different functions of the platform. Uh, since we've already created a video on how to log in, uh, just make sure you watch that video so you have an understanding of how to get started with the process in terms of getting started and logged into the platform. Uh, now that we've already done that, let me go ahead and bring the platform up. And as I mentioned, it is a web-based platform, so it is only compatible with a Google Chrome browser. So you just make sure you use a Google Chrome browser. If you try to log into the platform using a different browser, uh, you're going to get a message saying that you are required to use Google Chrome. And you can go ahead and download the browser. Uh, since I've already gone through the process of creating my connection and logged in, so this is what you first see when you log into the platform. This is a sample workspace. I've created a, an additional workspace called Ampere. Uh, we'll get into that morally later in the series in terms of how to build out your own custom layouts. But for now, we're going to work off the sample workspace, uh, just working with what you see by default when you log into the platform. So today's video, this video is going to be very short. It's going to just be a, an introduction to what you see on the platform. And then moving forward, we're going to get into each segment of, of each particular function and show you how to use the dome, the chart, the watch list, how to add indicators, how to change time frames on the chart, and so forth. So this is the sample workspace. So sample workspace, basically, as, as a new user, if you're transitioning from a different platform, there's always going to be a learning curve. And so sample workspaces I'm a big fan of because it just gets you the ability to, to get right into the platform and start using it. So therefore, you don't have to build out the workspace. Now, of course, you have the ability to customize it. Uh, but the, the, let's, let's go over what we see here. So you see the chart here? It's pretty basic. The watch list which you can see different markets, different information for the markets that you have inserted into the watch list. Uh, at the bottom here, you have the panel where you can see your positions tab, where you can see open positions. You can see purchasing power, total P&L, realized P&L, open P&L. So this is where you would go to see pretty much what's going on in the account. Uh, working orders, whether they're filled, canceled. Uh, you can see filled transactions here. Working orders are displayed here. Cancel orders displayed here. And then rejected displayed here. So this is pretty straightforward. You can compress that by just collapsing it so it goes away. On the right side, you have the dome. So this is, uh, we're going to show you, that's the guess actually be the next video, how to execute trades off the dome. So uh, again, I'm not going to get into, de into, de into detail of what, uh, how to use each function, just more just an orientation of what you see. At the top here, you have different menu options. So this is where you can add different workspace setups. These are the containers, the preset containers, that you, the trade spaces is what they call them in terms of what you can create and, and what type of layout you would like to use. So for example, here's an eight, an, eight, um, an eight layout split. That's a five layout split. That's a three layout split. So there's different ways that you can organize your workspace by using these pre-built trade spaces. Uh, we'll get into that later in the series as well. And then you also have, when you create additional workspaces, they, they will be named here. So you can have as many workspaces open as you want. You can get pretty creative on how you create your setups. All right, and then, of course, at the top, you have the trade button here. So this is just going to be a simple trade ticket approach. We'll go ahead and demonstrate how to execute trades off that as well. And then on the top right corner, this little connection, this is your account number. So normally you would see, if you have a live account number, you would see your live AMP account number. I'm, I'm logged into a demo account right now, so it's just showing a demo ID. This right here, the two arrows going left and right, that's just a connection confirmation. So when it's green, that means you're successfully connected. If it's red, that means you're not connected. Uh, this is just an email inbox notification. So sometimes Market Delta will do updates to their platform, and you'll see email notifications coming in. So you'll see like a little numerical one if there's one message waiting for you to read. So you can go ahead and click on that. And then right here, your initials, your name initials on the top right corner. If you click on that, uh, that brings you into, for example, if you want to create your broker login, uh, if you have a live account or demo account, which I've demonstrated in the prior video getting started uh, in terms of how to create the connection and get logged in. So that's definitely required for you to get in there, whether you're trading live or demo. And then the settings option, we'll go over that in a bit in terms of how to organize and see the different settings available to you. All right, so that's pretty much Market Delta Cloud in terms of just the, the overview, the surface. All right, so now we're going to get into the next video in terms of how to log in, or not log in, but actually use the trading dome here that you see on the right side. Pretty simple. They added a few uh, updates in terms of, like, for example, they added the buy and sell market button. They also um, automated trade management, which is pretty cool. That's pretty much uh, bracket orders, and you can use trailing stops and you can scale out of multiple uh, multi multi level bracket, for example. All right, so we're going to show you how to use that in the next video. In the meantime, guys, if you have any other questions, just contact or help us. We are 24 hours a day. 312-893-6400, extension 1. That gets you directly to the help desk. 
Again, stay tuned. We're always keeping up to date on our videos on our YouTube channel. The uh, URL is www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Again, that's www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video, and happy trading. <music>